Touch ID, this is something that's on your keyboard. So all new keyboards have this, older keyboards with older Macs do not have this. So you can choose to set this up later or you can set it up now. And the way that this works, I'm gonna show you, here's the keyboard. So to set it up, it's gonna tell us to put our finger there and we're gonna tap it several times. So as you guys can see on my screen, it's now being set up. I'm just gonna tap it several times and then I'm gonna just keep tapping, just use the one finger Keep tapping there and you're just tapping. You're not doing a clicking sound and um, you're just barely tapping it. You don't have to press down on it. Then you're gonna see this continue on. So go ahead and continue. You can choose your look. So light mode would be what you're used to usually. Dark mode is exactly how this shows you. Everything's gonna be dark with a dark background. For this video to work better, I'm gonna have to use light mode. I personally like dark mode though, or automatic. It's gonna turn on light mode during the day and dark mode during the night. So it's better for your eyes, well, softer for your eyes. We're gonna continue on and here we go. We're basically done with the whole setup and the apps that you guys get on your Macs, the com default apps will be down here below. So let me just show you in this view, it's a little bit easier to show you everything you guys get. So these are the default apps that you guys get immediately. And that's it. There's nothing else around it. Let me just open up this folder so you guys can see a little bit more. These are another few apps that you guys get. And that's it. So you don't get Microsoft Word, for example. A lot of people ask me if you get Final Cut Pro with it. No. But you do get iMovie, which is identical to Final Cut Pro. They're almost the same thing. And if you look at GarageBand, you get GarageBand, Apple TV. Well, that's just an app. It's a hub. And then you guys get all this other stuff as well. You do get pages, which would be like Microsoft Word. You get numbers, which would be like Excel. And you also get somewhere in here, there's Keynote, which is over here on the far right hand side. That would be like PowerPoint. So those are the main things that you should know. Now let me just get out of this. And to go in there, for example, all I had to do was go into Launchpad and it's gonna show me all my apps. So all the apps that I have there are those. And then we have Safari, we got messages, your email, you guys can go there. Obviously for your email, you can go into Safari, you can download Google Chrome if that's what you like. I know a lot of people are used to that. And the very first thing that you should do on your Mac is actually update it, go into system preferences. And then from system settings, all you have to do is type up here in the search, update, software update. And you're gonna check out the latest update, click on update now, and that's it. Right now you guys can get started using your Mac. And that would be it for this setup video. If you guys would like a full manual, I do have a manual for your new Macs. And I do have several reviews about other Macs as well. As far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.